Hi everyone, my name is Marcin Mikus and welcome in another Photoshop video tutorial. I'm really excited about this episode because today I'm going to show you fantastic method on retouching the lips. Sometimes we got this really ugly dry skin around the lips. So in this video lesson I'm going to show you fantastic technique how you can actually retouch the lips, how you can actually remove all of the ugly dry spot from the lips. Before we start our lesson, I'd like to tell you a few words about my last video course that is on Udemy right now. As you can see, it's here and why I'm telling about this, because I provide for you $109 coupons for this is 81% off. Right now it shows 11 euros. I'm not sure why actually, but it shows this kind of price I'm from Europe. So probably that's the reason why it shows me 11 euros. However, the price is $9, so you can get this for $9. As you can see, 81% off, so I believe it's a really great deal for you. It's my last course and I really recommend this. There's many fantastic, great lessons. Simply speaking, all the good stuff you need to know about Beauty Retouch. So let's go back to our lesson and I'm going to provide you the link to this course in the description to this video. So what I'm going to do in this episode, I'm going to show you how to get from this to this with our lips. When we zoom this, you can see this more clear, what was the result at the beginning and how the lips looks after that quick retouch I've got. So I'm going to remove the process I've done right now. I don't need this anymore. And I'm going to zoom this image quite much to make sure you can see everything very clear. So as you can see, we have a lot of these dry spots, a lot of the lights on the lips. And actually, in some ways, on the amateur photography, sometimes it looks OK. However, in this case, when you want to retouch the image, in really right way when we want to upload this picture somewhere it doesn't look that great we have these white spots here the skin is too dry so I'm going to show you really great technique how you can retouch this kind of things the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to duplicate my background layer I don't have to uh, cut out the lips I just can duplicate whole layer so I'm going to press Control or command and J or you can just hit right and duplicate the layer and I'm going to call this lips so right now there is two ways we can choose we can choose curves or levels whatever you prefer you can do this in the both ways I prefer to work with levels which gives me a bit more control in this case so I'm, what I'm going to do I'm going to zoom this even more because I have to see this really right so really be careful right now because that's quite important thing what we have to do we have to darken these lips to get off of these white spots we have to darken this as much to make these areas a bit down to make this not that strong so I'm going to start with this dark slider and don't worry it won't be too much just let it go even more okay it's really dark right now and as you can see only the areas that are left there are few white spots and the rest of the things we're going to take care of a bit later the point is we got off of most of the area so the main point is done right now now we can close this and now we are going to do fantastic things which going to make these lips really outstanding so I'm going to image apply image and the layer is merged right now as a source we're going to set the merge layers but all fun is about blending. I'm going to change blending, which is set as a subtract right now, into multiply. And what multiply is doing, simply speaking, when multiply doesn't blend the white color. So all the areas which were 
white are not blended. So that's why we darken this image. And right now you can see the result. Our lips looks much better. But the one thing is wrong, the color. Of course, some of you might like this color because it looks um, quite nice. But I wouldn't do the thing right if I would show you the method which changed the lip color. So right now on the lip layer, I'm going to create layer mask. And I'm going to invert the color on this layer mask to black. On the levels, I'm going to hit right and choose create clipping mask so the effect on this will be applied only to this lip layer. Now I'm going to choose this black layer mask and using a brush, I'm going to paint around the lips and bring up the color that exists on this level layer. It's going to take a while, maybe not that long, but I would really recommend you to do this right, to do this carefully. We don't want to make these lips ugly. So now it's done, so now it's done and our color is only applied to these lips, however as I said before we have to do something with the color. So the most important part is going to start right now, what we're going to do, you can hit right on these levels and then we go into go to blending options and we go into work with blending options. And to be more precise, we're going to work with this blend if option. I'm going to work with gray. Of course, you can use other channels, but gray is the most universal color. In this case, gray is the most universal channel. So the best cho choice is to work with gray. The other channels are not really that popular. And under this, we have two bar sliders so let me tell you a few words if you are not sure how does it work it might be a bit confusing here so i'm going to explain in a few words how does it actually work when we go in to use the top bar slider it's going to affect only the layer we have selected right now so it's going to affect only the layer called levels one and then we have underlying layer and this underlying layer affects all the layers that are under this levels one layer under the selected layer and let it through the selected layer. I know my words do not say much so I'm going to show you an example how this actually works. We have two sliders the black one and the white one. It's kind of a gradient. So how does it work? When we're going to pull up the black slider, what is happening? We are not going to apply to this layer anything that is darker than this, this area of gray, this gray color over here. So as I pull it to the right side, as you can see, this red color is darker so it's not applying anything which is darker than this gray color and in a similar way works this white slider when we pull this to the left side it doesn't really change anything because it's not applying anything that is brighter than this white color so as you can see when we go into this side it works However, we're not going to use this wide section and in very similar way, way works this underlying layer. Everywhere where this underlying layer is darker than this amount of gray, the top layer, which is levels, where exists this red color, will not show. As you can see, that's how it works. And of course, the same as before about if 
and on the underlying layer everything what is brighter than this white color won't show on this top layer which is selected so as I have a bit more layers I'm going to work with the underlying layer I'm going to pull this to the right side and get to the point where I'm losing this not mine red strong color but it doesn't look nice because it simply just cuts off the color and as you can see closely we can see some pixels and it doesn't look like we did our work right so I'm going to press alt or, or option and going to split the slider so when I'm going to do this as you can see it works totally much better because it's just do the soft cross dissolve so we have control and it doesn't look that bad anymore because it's not cut off the color but just do very soft cross dissolve between these two I'm going to get something which is suitable I don't want this color okay so after this we can press ok we get off of this not our natural color I'm going to put all of this to the group and I'm going to call this just lips as I don't have an idea so let's have a look as you can see we still have the same color as before around our lips but we only take down some of the brightest colors from the image we still have some of the white parts when actually we can keep this like this if you like but I'm going to show you how to take care of this white pores of the image what I'm going to do I'm going to create a stamp on the top so alt control or command shift and E on the top and right now I'm going to cut out the lips from the image this doesn't have to be careful just I'm going to do selection around as you can see it's not really great and then just hit right layer via cut and this layer below we can remove and I'm going to call this low frequency so you can know what I'm actually doing right now and then I'm going to duplicate this layer once again and this will be high frequency I'm going to work with frequency separation and going to show you how to retouch the lips and how to change the color of the lips, how to work with the color of the lips in a non-destructive way. So I'm going to start with low frequency. We have to go to the filter, blur and Gaussian blur. And what we have to do, we have to set the radius. In my case, it's around five pixels. When we lost the details, all the veins from the lips but we can see the shape of the lips so around 5.3 in my case is really right because what is frequency separation we just split this image in this case the lips for two layers which has different kind of uh, frequencies which I have different kind of details low frequency is similar like in the music contains the tones of the image, the colors of the image and high frequency is responsible for the details, for all the small veins. So in high frequency layer I'm going to go to image, apply image, layer as a source is low frequency, blending, subtract and on the 8-bit image scale is 2 and, uh, 2 and 128, on 16-bit image which are raw images is 2 and zero then it's invert and instead of subtract is add but as I said it's 8-bit image most of your images you are going to work it's 8-bit hit OK and now I'm going to change blending mode from normal to linear light have this ugly thing around I'm just going to take care of after I put this to the group just going to create a layer mask and with black color in this case I'm going to get 
rid of this ugly contour around. Of course, it wasn't something we want to. It is not something we want to. So the first thing I'm going to do with this, I'm going to work with high frequency. Of course, we're not going to work with low frequency because we're not going to fix any tones. It's everything all right. We just have some of them, these white spots, and we want to get off of this. So I'm going to choose Clone Stamp Tool. You can just choose or hit S on your keyboard. And flow I'm going to set as a very low, maybe even less than 40, maybe 30%, because I am i don't want to cover these spots totally, because it's just going to look very fake. So on this high frequency, I'm going to take a stamps and just paint on these white spots. Of course, only the strongest ones, uh, some of the soft spots you can keep, because uh, if you get off of them, as I said before, it's going to look fake, so just a little bit paint on these spots to make them look natural, but not that destroyed, to not make these lips look really dry and bad. Okay, and now I'm going to the top layer. I mean top lip, bottom top lip, I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm getting confused. Okay, just a bit here. Here we have some of this not really good area here. Of course when uh, as you can see here on the on the skin, when you have this kind of things on the skin, it's the right thing to do the same kind of thing. I didn't plan this, but just as we are here, why not? So we get off of this uh, spot, maybe not all of them. I don't want to take too much of your time, I already feel I talked too much. and. At the end, right now, as you can see, we retouch this, but probably many of you think how we can change the color of the lips in a really natural way. I know there's many tutorials which shows how can you paint around the lips and that's it, but actually when you paint around the lips, we are just destroying the texture of the lips and we don't want this. We want to keep all of the nice texture of the lips as it is. So between low frequency layer and high frequency layer, I'm going to create new layer and I'm going to call this color. And as you remember my words, high frequency contains all of the details of the image, contains the texture of the image. So if I'm going to paint on the color layer below the high frequency layer, it's not going to affect the texture. So let's zoom this. I'm going to choose a brush, of course. And the thing is, I'm going to change this to the soft light, just in case as normal could be too strong. And I know it will be too strong because I did this before. And now we can take a stamp of the color of our lips we want. And we can just make this color maybe a bit stronger than it is and then I'm going to paint around the lips of course this color is too strong but I just want to paint right now and about the right color I'm going to worry after I'm going to paint around this of course be careful on the edges bit too far here mm -hmm. 
so as I said it's, it's way too strong so just the thing you can do at the end you can just simply change opacity I'm going to pull down opacity to 50 it could be even less in this case it's a very strong effect maybe 40 of course you can hit right and go to blending options to work with the color a bit more if you don't like this color I, I want to keep this color actually so I'm not going to work with this um, you can create layer mask if you wish to fix some of the lips over here if you are not happy with effect change the flow for the small to keep more control and then you can retouch but right now I'm really happy with this effect it's not that strong so as we finished that basic retouch as we removed all of the bad parts of the lips it would be really good to add some glossiness to the to the lips to make them a bit more shiny because they are very matte right now they look really nice but they don't have this nice contrast and they are very matte so I'm going to close this group right now and that's a very simple step I'm just going to create new layer I'm not going to change the name because that's just a tutorial and using a brush and flow at 100% I'm going to paint over in the areas I want to bring some uh, glossiness of course it doesn't have to be everywhere just the area that you want to make a bit more dramatic so I'm going to try with this at first and I'm going to change blending mode from normal to overlay as you can see it's not really much we can add maybe even even more of this in some other parts and when we paint this we can actually use the flow to make this a bit soften uh, however there is no need in this case because we can simply change the opacity a bit later so as I paint this like this now we can change opacity pull this down because obviously it's a very strong at the moment and it's helping to bring up some glossiness of course it has a very um, rough edges right now we could say so we can use simple trick which is Gaussian blur to make this a bit blurry of course not too much just a little bit to get off of these ugly looking edges and that's final result we can pull it even more down you can of course experiment with few others blending options like vivid line but it doesn't look that well I guess so just try with few others and choose the one which looks the best I think in this case really overlay will be the best if you create more layers of course the glossiness will be bigger control command j we can duplicate this to add the result we really want or create new layer to improve some of the specific areas even more so it's all up to you whatever you going to do with the lips with whatever final result you want to get that all depends on you I'm going to blur this a little bit more so I'm going to stay with something like this instead of white color you can use dodge and burn you can use curse anything that is available for you in Photoshop so I'm just going to put these all layers to the group because it doesn't look that nice control or command G I'm going to duplicate this background layer to show you our result so that's the image we started with and that's where we ended up the lips are really nice a little bit uh, glossy so I really like this result I really like this effect let's zoom this even a bit more so that's our lips before this retouch and that's our 
result at the end i'm really happy with the result leave some comments what you think about this tutorial i believe it was helpful for you uh, once again i'm going to remind you to check out my udemy course only nine dollars right now only 100 uh, discount coupons 81 percent off so check it out it's really all the greatest thing you need to know about high-end beauty retouch so thank you for watching this tutorial and i'm going to see you soon in the next photoshop video tutorial thank you